a Big Spark Studios original. Hey, everybody. What's up? Welcome back to Unhinged with Chris Clemens. I'm your host, Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> no, my name is Chris Clemens, if you literally couldn't tell by the title. Now, before we get into the episode, be sure to subscribe to Unhinged with Chris Clemens wherever you get your podcasts. We put up videos, no, video episodes on YouTube.com slash Chris. There is not one intro where I've done it fluently, but why start now? And then be sure to rate and review. We love that. And today I am so excited to be joined by the one and only... I want to say Aaron Gilfoy because yeah. you will forever be Aaron Gilfoy to me, but it's Aaron Petraka now. It's true. Do you like Am introduce I rebranding yourself? on your podcast? I, no, not to like people. Okay. Like that. So like if I still called you Aaron Gilfoy. Yeah. Okay. Work. Most people do. I feel. I like hate all my friends getting married. Like I, I know. I mean, like I love you guys being married. <laughs> like that's the thing is like, I love everybody's spouse. And, I like, hate that you're taken. <laughs> the union. <laughs> I just hate that you're not a little, <laughs> I, I've never known you as a single woman. Yeah. So never mind. <laughs> but oh my God, all my friends get married and then I never, change their contacts in my phone so I still but am, that's like how you know them even my yeah. best friends have gotten married like they are still their last name their, their original name last names. their, <laughs> their <normal>. government name <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait um a little ooh. side note you have youtube.com slash chris yeah but like it's like a ghost URL. Like, oh. I, way back in the day, I was like an intern at Harper's Bazaar still in college. And I was like, um, YouTube.com slash Chris is no longer uh, in service. Like, can I can I snag it? And they were like, all right, we did it, but it's a ghost URL. So I'm like, so YouTube.com slash Chris Clemens works, but also slash Chris. And there goes my phone, yep. which is the lifeline of this podcast rundown. So <laughs> talk really quick. Tell people about yourself. Um, What's to know? Girl, you have a fucking good podcast called Good Influences. Yeah, I have two podcasts. Oh, you and I've, Carly still do it? Yeah. <gasps> I have two podcasts. A delight. YouTube channel still. Love. Don't know how. Same. I just had a meeting with a YouTube lady and she's like, so how's it going? And I was like, next question, please. I'm like crying into my coffee cup. And I was like, she's like, so what are you doing? And I'm like, Praying, yeah. getting through the day. Hoping and praying. <laughs> Every day, thoughts and prayers. And I also feel like it. Uh, people watching kind of feel the same because they're always so mean. <laughs> Ooh, like it's wow, kind of ripping kinda the like, wound open. Sometimes we're like, why are we doing this? And then they're like, why are you doing this? And we're like, wow. So we're, we have that in common. We're asking yeah. the same question. Yeah. Now, something I always ask my guests to do is to throw out a cause because we do a little shout out here. And I asked you to do it. And what'd you pick? I picked Best Friends Animal Society because I love my pets. I love little pups, especially in California. Like, euthanization is such a, like, crazy bad thing. And I really do, like, advocate for adopt, don't shop. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Euthanasia is a really <laughs> bad thing. <laughs> Come on, Miss America pageant. You better work. Um, but no, best friends. I learned about it through Aaron, and it's a nonprofit organization that operates the <laughs> nation's largest sanctuary for homeless animals and provides adoption, spay slash neuter, and educational programs. Yeah. And if you're listening and not watching the video episode, I was fully reading that off of the website that I got two minutes ago. So you're not here we are I would have said the same thing euthanasia is like bad well, no it, it's the numbers, it is bad the numbers are really high they really are and it like after me... the pandemic a lot of people who adopted animals got rid of them yeah sent them right back I human awful. beings are the worst yeah, it's true we are it's just awful yeah. like I was thinking about it the where I got booger they sent me the video of her in the cage f from the pound to their like rescue society. Where'd you get her Wagmore? I got her at Angel City oh, Pit. Pit. Yeah. Love them. Shout out to them also. Angel City Pit Rescue. Yeah. Any rescues. Any rescue. Can you rescue me? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I just I learned that they have like four days in the pound and then they get put down. And I'm like, <gasps> that is maybe that's like outdated. So I always say things and then I Google them and I'm like, oh, Chris, you just spread a misinformation. I'm like, well, Fox News is doing it and they have a way bigger platform. Oh, so. that is fully mine and Carly's podcast. Oh, my God. I love it. But um, Dax Shepard, his podcast is really good because after they record the episode, they'll do a fact check segment like days oh, later. To have a staff. Sounds so 100%. nice. 100%. Oh, sounds Couldn't gorgeous. Me. Last episode I was talking or two episodes ago. I don't know where we are. But I was talking about like how people have to buy their Emmys and their... I was like... 
What? Yeah, and people have to, oh, yeah, you have to, like, spend, like, I said it was, like, 800. It's, like, 400 bucks to buy, like, your Emmy if you win an Emmy. And I said, an Oscar, you have to pay for it. It's, like, a dollar I Googled, and I was, like, me, dude. But technically, <laughs> I wasn't wrong. Wait, do you want to hear a crazy fact? Yeah. Do you know how they have, you can make like your own national holiday? Where it's no. like National Coffee Day. Like those dumb holidays. Yeah. To own one of those. No. Is $40,000. But who do you even go? To? Like, it's not like you go to the like, DMV and say, I, I'd like to have <laughs> National Pick My Asshole Day. I don't know the logistics. I Got just it. know it's 40 grand per year. So who spent... Stassi Schroeder. <laughs> no, so from Vanderpump Rules, she got National Outfit of the Day. day. <laughs> she spent. 40- I mean, listen, if you got forty k to blow well, on no, a day work, I, was, I just found this out. She was on call her daddy, and she was talking about it. I think I audibly gasped when she said it, and I was on an airplane. Um, <laughs> but I, everyone's I, like, "What's <laughs> happening?" Yeah, I think she thought that it was like for life, but you had to like renew it once a year for forty thousand. Oh, I don't think until you just said that I really processed that yeah. either. So, who is spending forty thousand dollars a year for National Coffee Day? Because stop Star- drinking coffee. Starbucks. <gasps> Starbucks. I doubt it. It's no, I I don't. That makes a lot of sense. But there's so many dumb ones. Like, uh, there's National Tie Day. Like, tie, like a necktie, or like yeah. tie, like the food that I ate last night? <laughs> <laughs> the latter. <laughs> the necktie. Oh, isn't, wait, does latter mean the first or the second? I think the one you originally, the, the second. Sam, J. The second. Okay, that's what I. The, the former is the first, the latter is the last. Wow, I just don't think I could have been putting dumb my dumb. low IQ more on display. No, I think that was my bad. It was both of ours. Let's share the blame. I'm confused. <laughs> so if you feel stupider listening to this podcast, <laughs> you're on the right track because so are we. Yeah. Um, I think it's time for us to stop talking and to hear from y'all. I asked you guys because if you guys don't know, Aaron and I uh, shared a DJ set. <laughs> We were musicians. We were. Like, yeah, past tense for me. You still DJ, I feel. Yeah. Oh, I do. You're, you're slaying. <laughs> Bear something, watch out. But I asked you guys to send in, I had a good time listening to your, like, unreal stories that you called in about until it got really sad. Um, but I asked you guys to see about your craziest or most unreal concert, music festival, et cetera, experience or story. Ooh. And so um, I put this out on my Instagram. You guys can call in to 310-844-6459. Leave a voicemail. Some of y'all are saying, don't leave too long of a voicemail, okay? Like, <laughs> it does cut off. And I guess I should probably start saying that because the amount of comments people are like, I left three voicemails and they were like each a continuation. <laughs> Sam is like, yeah, no, I hear them all. It's <laughs> it's really brutal. Um, so let's hear from one of you guys. Hey, Chris. This is Holly from Frederick, Maryland. Hey, Holly. And <gasps> That's so I close. just recently saw Paramore in D.C. with three of my friends, um, one of whom the literal day before was riding her horse and fell off that horse and broke her leg, <gasps> ended up riding the Metro with her broken leg, with her crutches, and then we get to the venue and we're like, okay, one of you can go with her, and then the other two can go up to the balcony. Now, my friend, she's a very good crier on cue, and so she, like, so she's gets the waterworks going. She's like, please, like, these are my best friends. I, I don't want to be separate from them. Uh, originally, we were supposed to be up in slot 404, which is the highest tippy top of the balcony. Oof. Long story Poor short, legs. Jonathan, <laughs> saint of a man, ends up getting on the phone, talking to the higher-ups. We go from 404 to 102, and my God, the seats were immaculate, and we all just had the best time. So, uh, Jamie, I don't know if you listen to Chris's podcast, but thanks for breaking your leg. Oh. Oh. Is someone else yeah, in the room with us? No, I, I got from balcony so to basically confused. almost floor and having seats. So that that was pretty sick. Love the podcast. Oh Love you guys. Bye. Wait, okay. I feel like I just learned a life hack. Um, I have a follow up. Did she get it casted or was she just walking around with like a wobbly leg? See, this is why I wish these were phone in because I had the same thought. Yeah, like, it's was all it, I could think about. The was whole it like time. a Luke brace Her or like a just fo- like <laughs> popped out? <laughs> She's like, here's my bone. Yeah. <laughs> Haley, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Will you sign my bone? Yeah. <laughs> She just has a sharpie femur in oh, her no. body. Yeah, well, because I feel like they would probably got moved to like closer to an ADA section. Oh, so true. That's she should probably... have just called. 
But Wait, like my legs the broken. way I'm about to roll up to every concert <laughs> yeah, yeah. in a cast, <laughs> like maybe I shouldn't admit that. Out. I'm not going to, for the record. That sounds way too sweaty to voluntarily put myself through. But like, it's an Seems idea. Like, well, I think for like maybe Taylor Swift, it would be worth it. Yeah, like the big names. Yeah. If Beyonce. I didn't, I have front row seats <gasps> to Beyonce, which. I actually am going to go on a mini rant, which is not like a real rant because it's not a real problem. It's just something that like, what the f***? <laughs> so I, like, Beyonce's, getting Beyonce tickets, I felt I like I'm an athlete like, afterwards. Like I, that was a hurdle and then 20 more. So like the tickets go on sale and I'm like trying to get them. I try and check out my card declines and I'm like, oh my God, why am I poor? And so then I keep trying the seats keep disappearing, and then all of a sudden oh, these yeah. front row ones appear, and I'm like, do, 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 do. $1,700 a ticket. I was like, oh, girl, I don't give it. I've never seen Beyonce. How many did you get? I got four. <laughs> My friends are paying me back. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> they are on payment plans. Okay. <laughs> um, I was going to say, because we bought tickets to Taylor Swift. They were not front row. They were in like a 100 section. Did you get them like as they were on sale or like resale? No. I did get tickets on sale. They were in the pit for four fifty, but it was in Boston, so like I feel like a very random oh, place. That was smart. Um, we didn't wind up going, and then we bought tickets to the second show in Arizona that Paramore was actually opening for because mm. that was like big for us. And they were well, that was the first s- night. Yeah, first night. Um, they were seven hundred and fifty dollars per person, and I bought six of them. Oh, so you got it like that. <laughs> Probably equaled the no, same it, amount as like four tickets crazy. for me. No, I don't know when tickets got this expensive either. Like, I remember the fees? them. The, the fees were $200 per ticket. I didn't even look at the fees. Yeah, I was don't. just, I That's literally, the 700 I was like tacked blacking out it's when crazy. I was trying to buy them. Yeah. I was like, I, they could literally drain my bank account, which they like low key f***ing did. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm on StubHub last money. night to see what they're reselling for now. They're reselling for five grand a ticket. And a section over four rows back are six hundred and seventy five dollars still available. You just sell them. What? No, why? <laughs> what? There's like a whole front floor section available yeah. for I could buy all four tickets for the price of two. I, I don't I don't I don't understand anymore. It, well, I know with Taylor, they did the, um, what like is that? The verified Tick- pr- No, fan. the like ticketing where it's like the, the prices change based on the amount of people who are like looking to buy them. I forget what it's called, but it's a really fucked up system. Wait, what? Yeah. That sounds even more archaic than no, ticket it's wild. buying has been. That's why there's like all of this stuff happening with Ticketmaster right now. Good. I like rot, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I <fucking> hate. <laughs> Put them in the submersive. I- Period <laughs> to freedom. <laughs> oh my god! F- like, ooh, I could really go off on a tangent. Do you have a concert story like that? Um. Oh yeah, I don't know if I want to say it out loud. <laughs> Although I've admitted worse and shit my pants on camera, so why not? Um, I was in the Hillary Duff fan club when I was younger, which tracks perfectly to a T. Nothing and, to be ashamed of. Well, um. Wait, what does the fan club consist of? <laughs> what do you get? Uh, okay, we're just going <laughs> to Oprah Winfrey own this. Um, yeah. I was an avid member of the Hillary Duff fan club. You would get pre-sale tickets. You would get like a welcome packet of just like... Which were probably like $60. Oh my God, they were... For so- four. <laughs> it was so fucking cheap, girl. I miss the old days. I get why like people are always like, I miss when life was good. <laughs> Although I guess I'm just sounding like I'm about to be like one sentence away from making America great again. <laughs> Not the avenue I'm intending to go down. But they had, like, a forum. You could talk with other fans. They had, like, an exclusive photos and videos. And, like, I don't... F- I mean, looking back, I was like, well, I, I don't know. It was just like that... Yeah. I'm, like, a 10-year-old in Delaware, like, fantasy. So one thing they would do is held contests. If you're going to, like, a certain city, you would say, like, I'm going. I'd like to be entered for a meet and greet. And they would pick, like, three people. So I was going to Radio City Music Hall for the Dignity Tour. <laughs> <laughs> Which you and, no longer have any of. <laughs> uh, no, girl, that ship sailed well before the concert even. I was like ripe old age of like 15. No, oh my God, I was still in middle school because we'll get to it. Oh, oh the trauma. Um, so they announced the three meet and greet winners and I, weirdly enough, wasn't one of them. <gasps> oh, no. And a re- I mean, guys, this is bad. Like, this is bad. I'm ashamed. (laughs) I'm not going to pull out a ukulele and sing about it. We'll get to that. But, like, 
I'm ashamed of this, okay? It was around the time that a bridge in Minnesota collapsed, and it was, like, a huge deal. And I was like, well, I have a cousin in Minnesota who is fine and not affected by this. So I told the admin of the fan club that my... Like, looking back, I'm like, this didn't even make sense. But the guy was probably like, I can't say no. I told him that I was supposed to be going to this Hillary Duff concert with my cousin who lives in Minnesota. We were going to go to New York together and go to this. And we were hoping to meet Hillary. Could we get a meet and greet? I I got a meet and greet. So he just felt so bad that this random bridge in Minnesota collapsed? I guess, but like, also, she wasn't on it and like, it, like, I don't know how <laughs> I would love to go back and like find the details of it. But I remember telling I was I don't remember. I mean, I remember where I was, but I don't remember. And I was like, I got meet and greet ticket. And I like never told anybody in my family how because I was I was like, I won the contest. Oh, no. So, yeah, I guess I. Yeah, I think I I think I said she like had some kind of injury. Yeah. And then I ended up showing up with my mom. Trauma. So. Yeah. <laughs> PTSD of being my cousin. Wait, did your cousin go with you? No, my mom did. <laughs> like, she was never slated to. It was like a me and mom event. Oh, no. No, like... Just, your mom was your cousin for the night. For the night, yeah. I was like, this is my, this is my, my 38-year-old cousin, who, Second cousin who looks like me and is my mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's... How, did you ever do anything like this? I don't... Th- I mean, not oh, like no, that. No, me neither. <laughs> no, me <laughs> neither. Like okay, that out of here okay <laughs> listen i'm not proud of it but did i get a meet and greet picture with hillary duff yeah i did yeah and it made my life and it's oh and then my mom submitted it to our local paper like this is how delaware works like they had a section of like delawareans who have met celebrities like no that's, yeah and my mom put the picture in and then all these kids at school saw it and they're like how, i was like i just saw her on the sidewalk and they were like you look like you're <laughs> inside you and i was like in the fan club <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to tell people this whole story in eighth grade. Like, that's social suicide. (laughs) Now I'm like, well, let's monetize it. Yeah, (laughs) Hillary, if you're listening, I'm so sorry just for everything. (laughs) Um, Now we're going to get to some pop culture things because I feel like a lot is going on. I don't know what is in these, but the first one I want to talk about is the Colleen Bellinger apology video slash musical. Like, Colleen Ballinger Apology, the musical. It actually was really great. I went to Broadway last night and watched that on (laughs) On my way there as a nice little (laughs) pregame. I I was like, they should should perform this on Broadway. (laughs) Off, off Broadway. (laughs) (laughs) Something's off, off Broadway about it. Our poor Uber driver was probably like, what What is happening? All I know is that if, like, fans who I had close relationships with I think the people who had come forward had like done work for her and she was like talking to them all of the time like personal cell phone oh phone numbers and stuff. oh my god I would never give my personal and I cell think phone to that her putting this out kind of just invalidated what they went through as children uh, first of all my team also, said I shouldn't talk about it so I'm singing about it er, right there you're <laughs> getting like the red x on yeah. America's Got Talent or whatever the f- shit that show is singing <laughs> I mean, I, like, this is the gag. She said actually shit of, like, I thought that that was kind... Like, there was something she said that I was like... That yeah, she sang? It, oh. <laughs> yeah, there was something she sang that I was like... See, if you were just talking right now, like a normal person, you would be, like, making sense. Yeah, or if she, like, was like, you're right. All of these things I did were really bad, but also the internet can be really bad because of X, Y, Z. And like, while I want to take accountability for like how I made these people feel and what I said to them and how I was inappropriate, like this can also be true. Yes. With like everyone else kind of like. But the way that she just completely disregarded uh, any sort of (laughs) emotion for anybody who felt. Because here's the thing at the end of the day that I learned from a stupid fucking tweet that we've talked about on this podcast. It doesn't matter what your intentions were. What matters is what the end product was and how people feel. And if people feel a certain type of way in such a large number, one, you do have to look at, is there a sense of mob mentality of other people are worked up, so I'm going to hop in on it because that's a thing. And I'm not going to sit here and say that it's not because it is. But also, on the other hand, you have to think, okay, this many people are upset Let me try and understand why. 
Mm -hmm. And like meet them there. Yeah. Like the fact that she pulled out a ukulele at like colon zero two seconds. Wild. Wild. The line, my favorite line is when she was like, I've never groomed anyone except for my Persian, Persian cats. cats. I was like, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> it like, just, you could tell she was really mad in it. And I think it just, that made it come across even worse. Which I understand if you're mad. Yes. Because if you're being. It's probably why people are telling you not to post anything. Literally. Because you're coming at it through anger, not like. Understanding yeah. and like moving forward. Yeah. Because it's like. It, Cause it is, it is when it's happening to you, it is really frustrating to have yeah. a picture painted of you so publicly. That is the farthest thing from the truth. Yep. And also like a lot of the people who are probably coming forward and telling like their truths in the situation, like that is their truth. And then the internet kind of just rallies behind them. And like, that's what kind of starts making up like the falsehoods of stuff that so, and, like, like that's what takes away from the actual yeah. like reason that everyone's upset in the first place is that people take it to the nth degree sure and i don't know but the singing of that was in she goes the misinformation station and Toxic. i'm like sick hey, babe it's a screenshot. Like she's, there's, like she's really singing too. Like she was singing. The, the whole, the darkest part of it is like she had to memorize that. That's what I thought. I was like, how many times did she start? Yes. Or do you think she like recorded it and then lip sync? No, no okay. way. Okay. I think that she, well, she's like a, it's, I mean, Broadway, baby. I know, but like that was one take, not even a stutter. I know. That which makes it even more weird. Yes. Like, why are you making this into art? Like, you f***ed up. Just, just like, just talk sit and down be and real. Say sorry. Like, that's the thing. Is like, I think a really solid, quote unquote, apology. You address what people are talking about. You own it because it clearly came from you, and you use it as a learning thing, because you have such an audience. Like that to me is like okay. And then maybe like throw out some organizations if you're going to make a video called hi and then play the ukulele in it. Like really? Like, <laughs> I just think it's like, like when I f up, it's like, how can I make this the most right? Uh huh. I don't she think she had enough. Well, I guess that like three years ago, she said she apologized for the same thing. I think I just like don't where know she, like, enough about fans, it. fans like underwear or something, <gasps> but it, I don't think it was like, as <laughs> it sounds like that. Really, just get on only fans. <laughs> Don't send unsolicited undies. No, to I think fans. it was like, I, I mean, I'm not going to speak on it because I literally don't know. But I remember <laughs> this similar thing happening again. I don't know. I didn't watch all of these videos. I didn't either. I but, got very like. But did you hear that she apparently did the song so that she could copyright it? And if other people posted the video, she could have their videos taken. OK, well, that's what I figured. I was like, she's going to post this and, be and make a ton of money and then be like, OK, bye. Oh, that's so interesting. That would be disappointing for her as a person. I know. Well, I feel like, like it's like her whole life. Yeah, and then YouTube. she like did a she has like a podcast with Trisha Paytas. I saw a TikTok clip of. Uh, and I was like, wow, the writers of this universe and dimension are really just having fun with it. <laughs> yeah, I just really did not have an apology the musical on on my radar ever. Mm. Well, like, uh, Here's to hope it starts a new trend because it was very entertaining. <laughs> it was I so, thoroughly enjoyed. It was so crazy. And then like part of it the truly was like a, the 11th episode of Black Mirror <laughs> or however many there are this season. I have no idea. But I haven't that, seen any of them. I'm like neither. afraid. I'm Me like, too. is real life not bad enough, guys? Well, I think that was a clear indication that we don't need Black Mirror. Like, And then there was times where she was just strumming the ukulele, <laughs> but then like just talking. I'm like, just talk, babe. You're not... The whole thing was just so uncomfortable. I like I Andrew believe. sent me a clip and was like, I guess we've got to fire up uh, YouTuber apologies round two. Yeah. And I was like, well, I can't wait to be on the board this time. Um, <laughs> and then he was I was like, I have literally no interest in watching that video. And then I saw people saying that she was singing in it. And I was like, yeah, Carly, I guess sent I'll me watch a clip. this 
video on Twitter that Drew Gooden had posted <laughs> being like, this is the most insane thing. And Carly's been the one who's kind of been telling me about what's been happening. Yeah. And I just simply don't have the time. These kids videos are like hours long. S yeah. I'm like, just give me a little synopsis. Same. Um, not to invalidate like everything they went no, through. No, 100%. But, like, but I, I need spark notes. Yeah. Um, and then I was like, no fucking way is this real. It was like 10 seconds. Hank Green's tweet was like, <laughs> I'm just really telling myself that this is just a deep fake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, AI. Yeah, I, I just, I just couldn't believe. Well, thoughts and prayers to her. <laughs> to her, really. Healing to the victims. <laughs> um, on a more on a more serious note, the headline is Furby is coming back. <laughs> no, is that bad? They're so scary. <laughs> I like had an obsession with them. I didn't like own. I owned like one, I think, and it was like a knockoff. Okay, but listen, okay. <laughs> DH Gate Furby. Stop. Sheen. She. Should we go tour the Sheen factory? No. No, that was. Have you not seen that? No. What? We're going off the rails on this. In pop culture Wait, update, we're what? doing pop culture according to Chris. Sheehan invited influencers to come no. tour their factory to no. basically make propaganda that Sheehan is not... Is, like, sustainable? Yes! <laughs> no, like, I'm Where not... Where is their factory? In like China! China. <laughs> and I... Are I was, people going? Yeah, yes. No. They Who? posted about they already did. They're Alex Earl. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> They're like influencers I hadn't heard of. Oh, okay. Well, that tracks. Well, that because <laughs> all the ones that I have heard of Nikki turn that Gabby shit went. down. Stop. <laughs> they always post about Shein. <laughs> they do, and I'm like, gross. I know. Um, it's a shame. It's a Shein. It's a um, <laughs> I thought that would work better. But no, Shein invited people. I watched some of these people's TikToks and they were like. Hey guys, get ready with me for my first night in China. We're going to a <laughs> Shein. I mean, just the whole thing was absolutely unhinged. No! The internet has really been a fever dream lately. Yeah, they go and they're going through the factory and they're like, first we went to their 16,000 square foot innovation center. And I'm like, okay, so first of all, you're telling me you looked at all 16,000 square feet of this factory? Please. Second of all, the, the things that they were saying, they should have just said, like, Sheehan told us to tell you that they would walk around and be like, I was honestly surprised at how nice the facilities were. And I, every time I talked to the workers, they were so confused about the child. Oh, my the God. The child and health issues. It's like talking that we, points. Yes. That brands give you. Like, literally being on this end of it, I'm like. That's wild. No, I had was, no idea. It was, like, it's, it's a deep hole that I still am, like, going through <laughs> because. I can't get enough of it. They were like, they were just simply confused when we kept talking about the working conditions because they love it. They work from just like a normal eight to five, like you and me. Um, you and me, what? What, bitch? We're YouTubers. Literally, I'm like, bitch, I work all day, every day. You should try it. <laughs> That's I, wild. No, I did not hear that. Crazy. And it's on TikTok? Oh my God. Yeah, like this one person's TikTok, like, they, I think, removed it because they were. It was going so viral, and they were getting so much hate. Oh my god! You I'm should look really up far from Shein Factory, guess. like TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You influencers. Are you have maybe we'll look at this at dinner because, oh my god, I could not get enough. I can't believe that. And then they were like, the they probably got paid a ton of money. I want to know what the bag is so yeah. badly. So I just bad. feel like you have to. The money has to be worth it to do that. I mean, you don't have a career after that, <laughs> at least for a, a yeah. hot six months. Yeah. Like, I, I just, Oof. I can't deal with that kind of hate. That's, I mean, but I would never put myself in that situation. No. Like, girl, read the fucking room. I don't need to go to the Shein factory. I don't even, if even if they had a store in like the Topanga Canyon Mall, <laughs> I wouldn't even go to it. Like, same. who are we? Okay, guys, I'm not going to lie. Who came up with these pop culture things? Because the first few are... Interesting. Furby is coming back. Beanie Babies and Betrayal prevail in the Beanie Bu the Beanie Bubble trailer. What? Oh wait, maybe I want to read this. The Beanie <laughs> Baby Empire is stuffed until it pops in the first official trailer for the Beanie Bubble premiering on Apple TV Plus on July 28th. Is the it like a doc? The film isn't a some film? twisted live action imagining the stuffed plushies that ruled 
It's an over-the-top dramatized portrait of the salesman Ty Warner, played by <laughs> Zach Galifianakis, who launched the toy craze and the three women, three women he betrayed to make himself a billionaire. Okay, wait, why do I kind of want to watch? <laughs> I'll absolutely watch. I feel um, like Apple Plus always has, like, bangers. Have you seen Bad Sisters? No, but you posted about it, and I was like, I gotta watch. Ben! We it's can't... Irish women. They're from, it's in Ireland. It's like your people. We can't access Apple TV when we travel. Why? It was like, the we, there's, like, not an app that we were able to use to connect to the hotel TV. The, uh, oh, you just have to watch it on your phone or laptop then. I, it's... I, I mean, no, I had this thought last night of like... Especially if it's a good show. Right? I want to like, experience it on a television. have their own like Netflix and Hulu and all of these accounts well, most that them, are just logged yeah. in all the time. You can't log in. You can't log out. Just have all of the shit there. I'm yeah, not and logging even if in. it was Netflix, then you could just have... It's one household. It, just get one account. <laughs> it's one household with 450 family <laughs> members. What's the hard part about that? Exactly. Marriott. <laughs> I have beef with Marriott right now. <laughs> I stayed at the Moxie East Village and... Oh, it was bad? I walk in and I mean, okay, one, I was hangry. Never oh. a great start to a day. Two, there was like just so much traffic for no reason. No reason. Yeah. I'm getting in late. I'm just like, oh, I'm so tired. It's not the hotel you normally stay at. When I'm in New York. So it just was like, you know, something's off. It's not your stomping grounds. Yeah. None of this is real problems. I hear it. I get there. I'm so tired. And they're like, we're upgrading your room since you're staying for such a long time. And I'm like, that is so sweet. My new favorite hotel. I get into my room. I'm like, it smells like literal death. Oh, no. I'm like walking around. I'm like, oh, there's like some water on the floor. Okay. I guess like the cleaner. It's just like, you know, maybe a mop bucket. Like, sp sure. We're human beings. I go over to the window to change out because I've been sitting in my car for hours sweating. Like, my ass has just collected so much swamp ass. So I'm like, okay, let me pull down the blind so I can, like, change. Because there's, like, a full, like, workspace across the street, and they're, like, having a meeting. And I'm like, hey. Um, so I can't pull down the shade. And so then, as I walk over to the window, I'm like, it smells really even worse over here. Oh, no. So I open the window. I'm like, oh, maybe it's just the city smell. Nope, that was fresh air, babe, compared. I call someone up. I'm like, hey, the shades won't shut. And there's like a really funky smell. The guy comes up, steps on one of the floorboards and water shoots <gasps> out. There's water under like the floorboards, which has molded. He goes, oh, that smell. Yeah, that does smell bad. I think that's the mold under the floorboard. So I said, huh. Was it black? <laughs> like I just was like, huh. Okay. Let me just. Oh, and I already unpacked. So like <gasps> I. Did you have to, do you moved rooms? Yeah, I had to move oh, rooms. Oh, okay, okay. So I moved to a room oh, with God. two double beds in it. Oh, I saw it. Yeah, when yeah. you FaceTimed to me. <laughs> they put a bookshelf. I, I, There's no way for me to even, like, describe this room. Like, yeah, they're to weird. Get, to get out of bed, I had to, like, climb to the end of the bed to get out because there was, like, a, like a coffee table bookshelf platform yep. where... It was the most insane thing. If I wanted to lay straight out, I couldn't. <laughs> and, and like, I put the do not disturb thing on. My room got, like, people came into my room every day to, like, fix it up, which is fine and yeah. nice and I appreciate. I don't like that. Like, I don't, I'm, it's a hotel. If this were my house, absolutely. Come clean it daily. <laughs> I welcome that. Yeah. It just, it just, like, wasn't, nothing was, like, really clean, like, yeah, I've stayed there. It, and I've it's, had so many friends stay there, and they're yeah. all like, thanks, Moxie. I guess those are deals, so <laughs> that was my first fault. But uh, I just... I will say, um, I do love a double bed situation in a hotel, because then you can have a bed you can eat in. Ye so then you don't get crumbs in your bed. Your brain is just <laughs> so f***ing big. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm, I'm like, so another sure. bed, I can just lay all my shit on there. No, no, this is where we lay out our McDonald's and... Oh my Get God. the crumbs all over. No, that's why my bed is like tie-dyed when I leave is because I eat in the bed I <laughs> yeah. sleep in. It's no, so repulsive. I also noticed that I also had like, I <laughs> ordered like a penne vodka gluten-free and there was sauce on my underwear that I noticed <laughs> the next morning. I'm like, Jesus Christ, oh, Chris. Oh no. You're disgusting. Yeah, you, need, you could benefit wow. from a bed you can eat in. You just talk, like, what else do you know? Any other tips and tricks? Keep talking and I'll let you know. <laughs> Break your leg and go to a Paramore concert. <laughs> you guys are learning a lot on this. This is yeah. a lot of... <laughs> Life from, hacks. Uh, Beyonce shows. Genius. Wait, what? I was saying, Aaron is a genius. That is an amazing hack. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, 
I'm like, where has all of this knowledge been? I'm like, hi, Moxie. I'd like to check in again. And they're like, not Two you. Two beds. Oh, and then I also asked them to charge my car because it was like dead. Oh, no. And they didn't. <gasps> and they charged me for it. I was like, you charged me for no charging. Wow. Hmm. Can't, you know what? Cancel them. You're canceled. The toxic <laughs> I was just about train. to say I'm expecting a, <laughs> an apology musical in two to four business days. Yeah. Now, before we carry on with the rest of today's episode, I want to thank today's sponsor, which is Helix Sleep. If you do not know, Helix has supported my channel in this podcast endlessly and also my back when I sleep. It is literally the best mattress ever. If you don't know, Helix is a premium mattress in a box company that takes all of your unique needs and wants in a mattress and it ships it directly to your door. Yep. No more weird mattress store slash are they laundering money? Anyways, that's for a different episode. Now, the Helix lineup includes 14 unique mattresses, including a collection of luxury models, a mattress for big and tall sleepers, and even a mattress made just for kids. Now, you might be wondering how Helix will know which mattress is the perfect one for you, and all you have to do is take the Helix sleep quiz and find your perfect mattress in under two minutes, and, like I said, your personalized mattress is shipped straight to your door free of charge. When I took the Helix sleep quiz, I said what bed size I was looking for. I said that I'm a side sleeper and I like a medium firmness. And sometimes, listen, I sleep a little warm. Sue me. And I got matched up with the Helix Midnight Lux, and I just... I don't even know how to talk about this mattress because it is just perfection. And when I'm traveling, I'm sad that my mattress isn't with me. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's true. Now, Helix knows there's no better way to test out a new mattress than by sleeping on it in your own home, which is why they offer a 100-night risk-free trial. Try out your new Helix mattress, see how your body adjusts, and if you decide it's not the best fit, you're welcome to return it for a full refund. If you want to try Helix out for yourself, Helix is offering up to $350 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our unhinged listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash unhinged. This is their best offer yet, and it won't last long. So go to helixsleep.com slash unhinged. With Helix, better sleep starts now. Let's get back to the episode. Hey you, it's your queer best friend Cameron Esposito and I am super excited to tell you about my brand new podcast, Survive or Die Trying. Now, I am a lot of things, but I am no survival expert. On my new podcast, we're going to learn together. Bear attacks, bad breakups. I am going to give you the lowdown on how to prepare for life's absolute worst case scenarios. Join me, some special guests on Survivor Die Trying, a comedy podcast that prepares you for anything or nothing. Now, Beyonce's shows blamed for fueling inflation in Sweden. Okay, Beyonce. Beyonce's in her capitalist era, I've noticed. She, like, just did a drop exclusively for Amazon Prime. Whoa. And I was like, okay. Like a song? No, like merch. Like oh. Renaissance oh. tour merch. But it was, like, five garments. I would garments. be way too nervous. to. I would just think it's a knockoff. That's how... Because no, there's it's so many like weird Beyonce, sellers. No, she took the shop tab off of her website. Like, she doesn't sell anything now unless it's on Amazon. Yeah, but, like, you can get other Beyonce merch on Amazon. That's not official. Totally, totally, totally. So but, like, I would be like the dumbass the that's section. buying the... Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, to be fair, it... though, I do love a bootleg shirt. <gasps> when I'm at concerts, I will <gasps> wait to buy the, the bootleg on the street. people who are on the ramps on the way out of a concert, like the highway ramps. Yeah. Those are the people I get... Co- Ten bucks? S- give it to me. Same quality. Yeah, same... I have some Taylor Swift tour tees oh, from like, Hillary. the rep tour. I've got tour. some mean Hillary Duff tour shirts from back in the yep. day bootleg i love a bootleg i got harry styles and honestly got they're <laughs> often better designed yes especially taylor uh, i i buy a piece <laughs> of merch at any concert i go to mostly wow. to save it now because like in 50 years i'm in my capitalist era <laughs> early girl yeah. as we're all like <laughs> purchasing fresh air out of cans i'm like who wants a taylor swift era yeah. shirt it'll be like the beanie babies it, literally it'll be like finding a rolling stones t-shirt now and it'll be like 200 bucks and i'll be yeah. like okay i'm 140 dollar profit in prime condition <laughs> so I, yeah i put them in like boxes in my basement so i bought two ta- a taylor swift well my friend's mom ended up just like going crazy at the merch booth like buying for like her nieces oh, and shit that's so really nice she was like, i got you that you like she was like pick whatever and i was like i'll take a hoodie and a shirt they're so ugly. No, it's awful. They're so ugly. I'm so sorry. I feel sorry. like at this point, she just like does it for the lol because everyone is like, Taylor, this is terrible. <laughs> but then you go and it's like, there's so much production on stage. I'm like, 
okay, I guess at least you put it all into the into the show. I know. I do feel bad though because I think at the first show people were buying merch and then they would like wash it and then like her face would turn deformed. No. And yeah, it was just like it's not well made, which is like okay, you were making so much money, just put some effort into it. But that's print the, it on good stuff and like what, call it a day. That's what's crazy is like when you're at that level, you can really get anything yeah. you want. Like being somewhat in the clo- like clothes making industry, like it's not hard to get a sample, wash it, and be like, "Wow, this kind of fucking blows." Yeah, uh, that I haven't washed it, so I, <laughs> I will prevent doing that <laughs> until you sell it. Maybe in, 50 in like years. fifty years, it'll the ink will really set <laughs> yeah. in in place. It's just melted I'll when put you open the Laura box. Some Laura Mercier <laughs> setting powder on it and call it a day. Yeah, I was pretty shocked when I saw her merch. I was like, "It's really awful." Hmm. I, there's not, and it's expensive. It's so expensive. I'm whispering because she can hear us. I know, Taylor. <laughs> I'm scared of you. She knows. She she knows. I she has to know. Knows. Okay. I was trying to think of the song. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it was. Oh, here's a Taylor Swift one. Oh, I, oh, <gasps> sorry. My ADHD could not be crazier. I did only have two parentheses two egg bites today. Ooh, Starbucks. Yeah. Oh my god, mm. the egg white egg bites are like my new jam. Which one? Do you eat the bacon or the? Oh, pepper. I mean the Becca, the Becca, the ba- <laughs> the Becca, <laughs> the Becca highlighter is crazy. Um, no, the bacon ones are so good, but like the egg white ones are just like I feel like are more straight to the mm-hmm. punch. Like I can't have the peppers too spicy. No, oh, it's acid God. reflux. Was, oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, Aaron, if this is My too other spicy, thing. <laughs> like, come on, girl. No, no. I remember no, in the LA. Thing is I love peppers, but it's I remember just in like, LA with celery juice. Mm-hmm. You're like, it's too spicy, Ugh. and I was like, girl, what? Celery is spicy. That is, I mean, like, I get what you're saying, but spicy. It's like a different kind of spice. It's, it's like not a, it's like, like an it's earthy hot. spice. It's not hot. Like, I'm not like, oh, this is so hot. It's like, like spice. <laughs> I do not know how to explain it. No, I it. don't either, but I know what you're saying. Like, I hate I- it. I hate it so much. <laughs> it's like one of the foods that I'm like, don't, if you, I can taste it in anything too. Like Real? there could be a juice with like 50 different greens in it and all I can taste is the celery. That's how I am with cucumber. <gasps> and everyone's oh, always cucumber. like, you can't taste it. No, it's true. Uh, you, you don't taste it in things? Or you do? Celery? No, cucumber. Uh, oh, I guess it depends. But like if in you sushi, have... it, even if I take out the cucumber, I, it oh, still yeah. is the main thing I taste. Yeah, I get that. I hate. <laughs> oh. I think we need to stop the episode. Like, I don't think we were meant to record <laughs> today. Anyways, Beyonce's inflation, um, ongoing Renaissance tour. Oh, I honestly don't care anymore. Oh my god, there's a lot of. Oh. Taylor Swift asks fans not to quote defend her against exes ahead of the John Mayer speak now re- recording. Taylor Swift urges fans to exercise kindness on the internet to the men they speculate her. Son. Well, after she let Jake Gyllenhaal sit on a fucking fired up spit for month, she it is so fucking funny. She did this whole speech. It was like minutes long, and she was like please guys like I don't need you to defend me on the internet like uh, I that's when I was young I'm 33 now like I don't need you to protect me and then she's like but I'm gonna play dear John now <laughs> and just like went right into it and I was like okay so th- she's like winking at us yeah right? no, she's, she's like, like don't do it I have to say this to promote kindness <laughs> yeah wink wink yeah but then like everyone went to his comment section and was like "Ugh, mother told us we're not allowed to be mean to you <laughs> Mother, I yeah. love when everyone is referred to as mother. Remember it's, when it was like mom and dad? Now it's like mother, 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 father. Yes, <laughs> I love it. It is the Swifties are so funny, uh, like when they're funny, but sometimes they're Dude, like fandoms they in me. general, yeah. like at that level, all scary. Yeah, even like the fun ones, scary. I saw something today. Oh, I'm gonna butcher it, so maybe I just don't get into I it. I hate when that happens. I'm like, like, I just can't retell a story. Same, like that ability to me goes away with each passing day. Yeah. And that was like a little haiku. Mm. Um, Okay, so (laughs) she, yeah. So what I'm saying is I'm putting this album out because I want to own my music. I'm not putting this album out so you can go on the internet and defend me against someone you think I wrote a song about 14 million years ago. Which, not gaslighting us. Yeah, I literally, I was like, girl, it's called Dear John. (laughs) Babe, all too well, sure. Maybe that one is like speculation. Yeah. 
dear John? Yeah. Babe. Well, it's so funny because she says all of that and she's like, you think it's about this person. She's like, but here's, here's dear, dear John. John. Like, <laughs> oh, Taylor. I love her. All right. I have had enough of pop culture. Wait, to- we didn't get into Ryan. Who's right? <gasps> Seacrest. <laughs> You're so right. I've been waiting. Oh my God. Yeah. Thank you for keeping me You're on welcome. track. I do what I can. Today's pop culture was sponsored by ADHD. <laughs> ADHD. Maybe you should be back on Adderall. <laughs> um, yeah. We were going to talk about Ryan Seacrest. At, oh, because we were talking about these radio mics. Like, yes. Hi, welcome to the radio. I'm Ryan Seacrest. And then we were like, <gasps> Ryan break. Seacrest. So tell us about Ryan Seacrest. Um, well, first and foremost, we don't stand. I don't. There's something about him that's just like so icky to me. I couldn't agree more. And th- listen, he's just like I a have, walking ick. Do I have any no. foundation to stand on no. for this? No. Ryan Seacrest, you're not watching. But like, I know that I'm not justified to feel this about you. He interviewed me after the Chrissy <gasps> Teigen oh, banana really? bread thing. And I don't think, I mean, like, I was like, I think outwardly bullying him in the interview. <laughs> like, he's like, I need to watch. He literally was like, so, oh, I filmed the whole thing because I was like, this is so comical. It was like 10 days into the pandemic. And he goes, oh, thank you for all that you're doing to keep us centered. I was like, yeah, it's nothing compared to the well, frontline workers. Fucking million dollar penthouse. I literally was like, I should not be. F- thanked right now there's yeah. people like literally in hospitals and then he was like so tell us how this all went down and i was like uh well it's all mm-hmm. on twitter for people to see how it, i think every like there's no there's no story it's all out there yeah we've all like oh i just yeah i gave no f- and i was just like yeah i think we just all read it on twitter as it was happening so there's not much to talk about. She just needed bananas. She needed or romaine. Yeah. yeah, she needed romaine. I'll never... She always needed something. Yeah. Also, like, I fully cried at her Instagram post yesterday. No, I, like, sobbed. I read it two times because no, the I, first like, time I couldn't see. I texted see. her and I was like, I'm fully crying reading your it Instagram right now. It was beautiful. It was... So it was like, and it felt like someone was like reading a book. Like each yeah. there was like the perfect amount the of info up. per page, and yeah. I was like, oh, "What's up?" Oh. And then it was like, <laughs> I completely ah! agree. Oh my god! She, if for you, if you don't know, she just had her just had a baby. baby. But then while she was pregnant, they had a surrogate carry the a same fourth time. baby. Yeah, and they just had it. Oh uh, my like god! Last week. Oh my god! When she started, she was like, "I've always wanted four kids." I was like, "Chrissy." You can't tell me you're pregnant. <laughs> and then I got to the end and I was like, Chrissy, yeah. the baby's here. No, I, oh my God, I felt was, like I was reading a book. It, it felt like the longest but shortest novel ever. Like it was beautiful. Also, all of their children's names are mwah. really I'm good. A, I'm a real stickler. Oh, and, and like, the we'll be the first to judge. Such homage to her I know. surrogate. I know. It was just like, oh, I just, I mean, this the idea of a surrogate is really kind of wild to me. Because, like, that feels kind of crazy. But, mm-hmm. like, I guess if you can't have a bait, like, I don't know. There's something about it that feels like, like, I, I'm not shading her at all because she gets enough shit. But, like, Khloe Kardashian, when she had her second baby, she just, like, was in a hospital bed holding another baby. Yeah. Which, like, I, I get. Like, I wouldn't be sitting in, like, a chair if I was holding a newborn. I'd be like, can I go to bed? <laughs> but, like, it is just such a weird concept that it's like, all right, bye. It's and so for her weird. to, like, name the child's middle name after, I was like, that is... Just I know. So not like, ugh. Anyway, she was like kissing her belly. She was like, "We're like such good friends now," and I feel like that's so special too. I couldn't agree more. Um, but back to Ryan. I was just about to say we got to get back to the little <laughs> elf prince. Yeah, I don't know. He gives me the ick. And um, he's like, what now? Wheel of Fortune host? I just like, we, why does he need to do more? That's like, what, retire. I don't care don't about you. Don't you have a radio show? You. Aren't you like executive producing the Kardashians on Hulu? Yeah. Didn't you executive produce? keeping up with the Kardashians for 20 years. Like, bro. Well, because he left, like, live with Kelly and Ryan. Thank God. Ugh, I forgot he was even on that. Like, girl, just stop. <sighs> Does he not have enough money? He has to. He, I want to reach a certain threshold so I can just decline. Yeah. Like, peacefully. I don't want to work forever. I just want to get a bag, be able to live f-ing comfortably and not think about money again, and D. De- Klein. Yeah. I don't want a spray tan. I don't <laughs> like I just Ryan, sit down. I want to see him in person. I want to see him without a tan. I just want to like stretch his face. Ooh. That kind of sounds fun. Be like, hey Ryan. He definitely gets Botox, right? I don't know, actually. Because I feel like I remember forehead folds, which he's a much stronger man than I am. 
because my <laughs> forehead it's like the movie frozen well i saw a tiktok last night of andy cohen because he said his dream job would be to host wheel of fortune <gasps> and the paparazzi guy like stopped and he was like hey andy like how are you doing and andy was just like talking to him He's and like, he was I'm like pissed. <laughs> which is funny because they're i don't know if you're like familiar but ryan and andy there was kind of like a some beef Whoa. because of the New Year's Eve New Year's thing. Eve. Which, like, which, Ryan, get a life. Ryan, shut up. <laughs> Andy Cohen and Anderson Cooper drunk is way more entertaining than you will ever be in your life. Yeah. Period. Brr. I agree. Anyways. To freedom! <laughs> I'm obsessed with Andy and Anderson's Same. relationship. I'm I... Like, Oh, well, Wait, I, let me tell you about Andy. Okay. Yes, please. Sorry. So this I always paparazzi interrupt man's people. just like talking to him. And, uh, me too. It's uh, The comments are always like, Chris, you need to shut up. And I'm like, okay, well, first of all, this is my show. <laughs> first of all, if Ryan Seacrest can speak. dominate everything, I can cut someone off. Yeah. We're just, we're feeling a lot of emotions right <laughs> yeah. now and we want to get it all out. <laughs> also starving. I'm like <laughs> I shaking out of hunger and like sweating my ball sack um, off. But yeah, he was like, oh no, I didn't even get like a call for it. I didn't know. And he was like, but good for Ryan. It seemed like that's what was going to happen. And, and he was like, oh, I always kind of like put you in this category with all these like talk show hosts. And Andy was like, yeah, like I'm in my own category. Like I don't give a f like what category I'm in. I'm so blessed to be doing what I do with Bravo. And like, that's all I can ask for. Dude, and I was like, he's such a humble king. He's humble and he gets it. Yeah. He knows his lane. And he's like, I'm not sweating this shit. Meanwhile, Ryan Seacrest is like, you know, he had a con. was like, we're taking over Wheel of Fortune. 100%. Percent, like, and maybe he didn't, and that's just hearsay. No, he didn't. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm not. I don't want to get sued. I'm like so scared of everything now. He can't sue you. Freedom of speech to freedom. Although I do feel like Ryan Seacrest would be the one to sue. Oh my god, a cease and desist is gonna fly through that window <laughs> on a carrier pigeon. He's listening in the next room. I hope so. Listen, bitch, retire. Give this to the rest of He's us like white men a chance. He's like the nicest ever. No, he, I, he probably is super yeah. nice, but... Something about him being a bachelor, I think, is what gives me the ick. No, the fact that he's still super... Sing I think he's... Ooh. I don't know if I'm allowed to speculate. Well, now you're getting the season. Well, this. listen, Pride is over, so listen, you're we're right. back to hating well, the fags. Well, one more day. <laughs> well, no, when this comes out, it's over. Oh, yeah. So we're, we're setting up shop. Put the rainbows away. My friend um, who is gay, he like did Pride Ugh. in New York City. I know. <laughs> My friend who is gay, gay. <laughs> um, <laughs> he <laughs> he did it the whole weekend. So he was like really going ham. Yeah. And then I saw him on Monday, Tuesday. He did poppers with Ryan Seacrest. And then, probably. <laughs> no, he was at a party with Simon Huck, though. That's I've been at a party with... <gasps> Which Finishers. I also was like, how do you have time to do fin Courtney's baby <laughs> reveal and then get the f back to New York for Pride? Listen, gays have priorities. I know, Jesus, and PJs. Um, but he sent me a video that was like some guy being like, I, oh. Bye, Sam. <laughs> he was like, I hate men. I love, it was like some guy clearly at like a conversion <laughs> therapy. And he was like, ah, me after Pride. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I went to a party or no, I went to like this. Oh God, this night was like, I mean, like literally it's like a cornerstone in my brain. Oh, I have to put this other headphone back on. It's like way too quiet in this room. Ooh. Like hearing it is like off putting. He was like at this like beach party thing I was at and who Simon. Oh, Huck. okay. And my friend Emily and I were there and we were blackout. I was so drunk. I was like in this, I was like smoking cigarettes drunk. Wow. Yeah. Like that's a level. That's a levels by, by yeah. Avicii, R.A.P. Um, isn't he dead? Yeah. Okay. You gave me a look that was like, Chris. I think because I forgot for a second. <laughs> okay. Yes. If you, if you didn't know. No, I don't. Okay. Um, he was there and then for some reason we took selfies on his phone and then he had to airdrop them to us. So I have a Wait, screenshot. Wait, was he in the selfies or was it just it the... Was, he was in the selfies. Oh, okay. I don't remember why or maybe we literally were just like, who we have a... We were just drunk and like... Yeah. My friend Emily and I, when we're drunk... Can we have a picture and also all of the Lemmy line? <laughs> <laughs> well, Lemmy wasn't out then. This was like... Uh, this is when I lived in New York still. I really want to try it. I've gotten the chill ones and I was like notice mm. no difference but they okay. were delicious they were cha cha has I would the, eat them just to feel something that's like how I felt I was like I'll buy one Placebo. to see yeah I oh, listen you should try the matcha ones should we go to cha cha after and buy some they're in the store because they have like a collab <gasps> drink yeah I want to try it okay we'll go I'll call us an uber 
All right, we're actually done. Bye. (laughs) The way I could be done and feel fine. (laughs) I'm like, this felt like a full episode. Um, No, we'll play another voicemail. This episode is all over the place, but it is brought to you by... I haven't eaten since like 8 a.m., so I apologize. But it is called Unhinged with Chris Lemons. Do a sponsor? No, babe, the sponsorships have gone away. (laughs) They're like, "Mm, not this. (laughs) Sorry, Justin, you're doing a lot of bleeping and editing. I'm so hungry. All they right. took all the snacks out of this office. Wow. And I think it's for the writer's strike, so it's like I stand with them, but like I am also kind of craving like a little snack. So can we can we have both? Can we have snacks and a strike? How far is Cha Cha? Where are we? It's like a okay. it's like down like 10, 15 blocks. I don't know. I don't know. 15 blocks. I mean, I'm not walking. Oh. Oh my God, girl, I'm wearing a, I'm Can wearing we a long subway? sleeve shirt. Maybe. Although I am carrying like two ginormous bags, so maybe not. Oh yeah, that's true. We'll figure it out after. People don't need to be here. Roll for the-, the tape. Roll- <laughs> hey, Chris. My name's Stevie. My pronouns are they, them. I'm from uh, like right outside of Philly. Hey, We're like <gasps> basically neighbors. Oh my God, we are. Um, but my crazy festival story is I had a seizure to somebody told me by the killers live <laughs> while they were performing it in front of me. I'm glad they're laughing. Um, Same. There's not much to the story. I was just vibing out, watching the killers right after seeing Cage the Elephant and getting the crowd surf to them. And I went down during somebody told me. And I woke up and I was on the ground and my friends told me that like my back was arching, like I was getting possessed and all this crazy stuff. Yeah, an exorcism. And they were like, all right, we should go to the medics. And I was like, absolutely not, because they didn't play Mr. Brightside yet. So I stayed <laughs> until so you're Mr. White. Brightside. Which I respect. And then I walked back to my campsite. Um, and I actually just got back from Bonnaroo and my friend also cooked his eggs in tequila by accident and almost set our campsite on fire. Sorry. But I, yeah, <laughs> music festivals are great. Love your stuff. You're amazing. Have a wonderful day. There's a <laughs> lot to unpack no, here. Like, there is quite literally so much to unpack. I thought that they were saying I was just vibing out like while they were having the seizure and I got really <laughs> thrown off by that because I was like, that's impressive to multitask in a seizure. Yeah. Also, is it like a one-off seizure or are you epileptic? Like what's oh, the tea here? That's did, interesting. Did, See, were you just like seizing because it was so powerful and good? Or was it like just like everything packed in yeah. and like you Drugs? were- Drugs? Yeah, I, I was going to say like the amount of times I've woken up on a festival ground <laughs> before is- but then the Bonnaroo eggs of it all. I didn't know you could cook eggs in tequila. That's a fucking disgusting. No, that is reevaluate your friendship. I, 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 you once again could not waterboard that out of me. I mean, there is <laughs> people just continue to share things that I'm like, nope. Although I guess I did talk about the Hillary Duff meet and greet. Yeah, so, that's okay. Uh, I guess we all do it. I went to Bonnaroo. I love Bonnaroo is the ultimate music festival. Have you been? Yeah. Like, oh, it was really great. It's the best. The, no one is there like pretentious like it's just everyone was so no. nice it was just about music oh my i just had this conversation I, my husband if you don't know he does a, runs emo night he bitch. does like a lot of music festivals so we've been on the music festival run when he said he was I've at bonnaroo i like gagged and like gargled yeah it was unbelievable so we've done coachella like all of the classic festivals this festival was also I went to EDC like a few weekends before and it was so kind of like the same no but it was like the same vibe oh. in terms of like good people oh. but at Bonnaroo I was at, at Bonnaroo at Bonnaroo <laughs> I was um watching Noah Khan and this girl was like standing kind of in front of me and then we were both really like getting into it and singing and then we started singing with each other and then he was kind of ending and she just turns to me and she literally hands me like a made a necklace she made that's like wrapped up clearly meaning that she has like a whole bag of them and was like thank you so much for singing with me happy rue like have a great weekend and then just like walked away and i was like i just want to like kiss everyone here no that is like the ex- and i camped that weekend and oh, i still had the best God. time <laughs> how old were you um i was a senior in college so i was like 21 20, ish yeah. they invited yeah. me <gasps> like i got oh an God. artist wristband like they invited me and put me in like artist camping and I went with brought my Ooh. mom. She camped with me. She is a Did bad you? bitch. Yeah, that's amazing. It wasn't the worst. I would probably never camp again just because I couldn't. I'm not a camper girl. Like, yeah. it's just not. 
I mean, who are who's shocked by that statement? <laughs> but I just remember thinking this is lovely, mm-hmm. like just so wholesome and nice. And everybody is like, "Oh, am I in your way? Yeah. Oh, do you want to? Oh, do you want us to? T- oh, I'll airdrop you the video I got. It's so good, and you're in it." I'm like. For what? <laughs> what do you want? And I'm like was, wielding a knife. It I mean, was so nice. Oh I God. loved it. It's just magical. That makes me so happy to hear it's still like that. Yeah. And oh. now I have a cute necklace. Oh. I hope this will some way make its way back to this. Do you know their name? No, I have no. It, it was a ten second interaction. Oh my God! Tweet Aaron or Instagram or <laughs> I don't even know how people get in touch anymore. I've like. Yeah, just... maybe she watches your podcast. <gasps> That would be such a fun full circle and moment. The other thing that was so great about it is like everyone was just like there to be there and enjoy the music. And no like, one's like in a Coachella fashionable. Coachella is just like ugh. Coachella, shoot me in the throat, yeah. <laughs> like in the jug you lure. Yeah, no, it's. I just I want to like Coachella because of the people who like it. They really like. It's like how we feel about Bonnaroo. I think like they like the people yeah. who like it make me want to like it. They like how get a spiritual awakening there. Yeah. And maybe I should be on shrooms or something. Like, maybe that's my own fault. I will just say, though, the general vibe is very different. It's just like a VidCon, but outside and with less clothes. <laughs> like, it's just like you look over and there's James Charles's ass and him doing like a full photo shoot. And then you look to the right and, and like Colleen Ballinger's performing her song on, on the, at the Sahara stage. tent. <laughs> 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 Except ah! with band, not just ukulele. <laughs> she hired a band. <laughs> I did not see that coming from a million miles away. Oh, God. I would love to see her headline that. <laughs> oh, that would be so stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Coachella is really brutal. And it's like, I feel so bad because it's like, don't, I hate yucking people's yums, but. It's nice if you go with artist passes. <laughs> but even still, it's like, oh my God, Bonnaroo with artist passes? You get unlimited alcohol. No, they changed you get- it. We oh. could, we, so we had artist passes and- You get it only day of? You can only access the artist area, like uh, where the catering and yeah, all yeah, that yeah. is. But when you go into the like actual festival, you're GA. Oh, that's fine. Oh, I think I- no, I guess I was artist. There's a lot. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. But like at least they have food and drinks. Coachella literally doesn't have anything. Yeah. I remember I found pizza when I had an artist. My first time at Coachella, I got artist band because my and friend's so brother. And they're crazy strict. They are crazy there. I'm mm-hmm. like, girls, we're in the desert. Also, no one working knows what's going on at any festival. At any <laughs> festival or concert. It's like mind blowing. Yeah, I'm like, honestly, same. <laughs> Fully. I, it's I don't, too hot. Well, all of them are just like volunteers trying to get a check. Yeah. Like, I, which I don't can blame them. But yeah, no one has any idea and it's kind of cute, but it's also kind of like, no, where is this <laughs> stage? I'm yeah. gonna miss... Miranda saying no. Some <laughs> literally a girl who was working. I was like, oh, maybe like the artist viewing area is back here. And then I, she was literally just watching the show, like basically standing in the crowd. And I was like, hey, is there like an artist area over here? And she was like, I have no idea. She was like, <laughs> artist area. She's just vibing. And I was like, honestly, I respect it. Get that, a free ticket. And that's like how I, I've really just I go. And it went hello. <laughs> <laughs> when I get like invited to like music festivals and stuff, or I get a free ticket, or like. I just, I just so much rather now enjoy just like being there, not wearing, like there was a hot moment where I would get like invited or like I had friends performing and they would give me a wristband or something. And I would be like, I, I, I have this wristband. I should be up there on the stage. Like I took it so oh, personally. No. And like, I mean, like I wasn't like a Karen, but like yeah. I was like, kind of sounds like No, it. I mean, yeah. Cause I'm like over retelling a story to yeah, over dramatize no, it. Know. But like, I would be like, uh, this doesn't and then I mean I would just like realistically turn away yeah. and be like, oh, okay but I would be like so pissed like internally and now I'm just like you just gotta I woke vibe. up today that's an accomplishment yeah. just think back to all the times you camped at Bonnaroo it was only once think back to that one time <laughs> those you three nights at Bonnaroo. I'm assuming you went to like Firefly I because isn't that did, like in yeah that's in Delaware it's yeah. like only an hour away I went to Firefly once I was invited oh. and then I don't know what happened to that but I went once for one day. Oh. Because arcade... I've never been. No, because Arctic Monkeys were playing. Oh. <laughs> arcade I Monkeys. I saw them or... this year in Mexico. <gasps> they had a Corona Capital Festival. Oh. Work. Did Emo and I perform there? Mm-hmm. Uh, no. Oh. They did like an after party. Work. But we got tickets to the festival. And it was really cool. 
That's sick. I got to watch the 1975 side stage for like 15 minutes and I almost passed away. Whoa. Yeah. We can move on. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my God. I'm like kind of shook by that. Well. Do you ever think back at like random things that you're like, I n- didn't appreciate how cool that was until like now. Like you saying you were side stage. I just remember that Tumblr had an end of the year party, which was like huge, like their year in review party. And like when they would do their year in review. Like the company or. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. As opposed to what? I thought you like meant like people cup? on Tumblr. Oh, oh, oh. When, like, and I'm <laughs> no, like, the company. Okay. Yeah, back when like Tumblr was Tumblr. <laughs> okay. This was like the hottest party to go. Like this was like Whoa. the Spotify Grammy party. Like, yeah, that sure. level. Um, They had the 1975 perform. And oh there were maybe 200 people at this event. Mm, yeah. And I was like, like, and it was like literally a stage that I could set up outside of like a Walmart in a parking lot. Like yeah. it was just literally barely off the ground. And I was just standing there. Yeah. Dumbfounded. And I just totally forget that that happened. It's so wonderful it's so to have memories. Up. <laughs> and then to forget them all. Yeah. <laughs> it's like really beautiful. It's poetic in a way that we're just going to f***ing die. Anyways, um, we're going to play a one second song oh game. We've done this before. Not me. No, like we on Unhinged. Got it. But you're about to. I'm, I have kind of been having anxiety about this all day. Really? I think I'm going to do really bad. Same. Which is why we're. <laughs> no, I. I think I curated it well for you. Oh. I'm playing my currently pl- like listening <laughs> playlist. I'm just going to scroll I'm through. I'm not going to know a No, 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 no. I'm not going to be a, like a dick about it because. No, like, you don't have to be. I'm just not going to know. I, like, I feel like you listen to really cool music and I just listen to Taylor Swift. Um, My top artist on Spotify for the last decade or whatever they told me a few years ago was Drake. So, no, I don't. Well. Which I didn't think I listened to that much Drake, but. I have a friend who also had this happen, and I was like, okay, this makes me feel better that... Okay, well, we're going to try. I did just buy his poetry book, which I will be reading he on this podcast. He has a poetry book? Yeah, he released, <laughs> he released a fucking poetry book. Do, do they have is, it on audio? Oh <laughs> audio book? It, it's just, a, like, from... I've seen two pictures of the book open. It's just a full page with, like, one sentence on one page, and one... It's like, you tell me to stop gaslighting you, but you could... You're flammable because uh, it's it's Instagram so it's, captions. It's kind it's of literally like Instagram Pauline's captions. song. It's like she Gabby should... Hanna's poetry book, <laughs> except that was actually a little bit more developed. Oh, boy. Um, okay, so the name of the game is we are playing the first second of a song. Okay, wait. This has happened a few times to me. Did you ever play that drinking game called Thumper? No. But it would always start. It says, what's the name of the game? And then everyone would yell, Thumper, why do we play? To get f- up. Oh my god! So I miss whenever, drinking games. <laughs> I know. I want to have like a not like a frat party, but like but a like a frat themed party. Yeah, yeah. I, get, I, I was, get that. I don't like Greek life. No, but, no, no, no. But I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Like a college party. Yeah, yeah. But we can move on. Yeah. But anytime, anytime someone says that, it makes me think of Thumper. Oh my god! I want to play. Should we yeah. play at dinner? <laughs> yeah, at, at like a French little French bistro. restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, do you have solo cups <laughs> and Coors Light? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Okay, let's not knock Coors Light. It's You're good. right, Bush Light, which I love. I love Bud Light. I support Dylan Mulvaney. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so the first thing we're doing, or no, Chris, center yourself. <laughs> Gratitude. I'm so f***ing hungry. Um, okay, so we're just going to play one second of a song. We're going to stop it, and then we have to guess, the other person has to guess what the song is. So we're going to play it into the microphone because we don't, Listen, guys, we're just Production. Lucky. we're lucky to be here today. Yeah. Um. All right. Okay. This is like difficult because. Okay. Okay. Here we go. I can't see. <laughs> no, I'm telling you. I'm oh not... my god! Can you play it again? <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's some hoes in this. No! <laughs> There's some hoes. <laughs> I'm not gonna know. Do you anything. mean WAP? <laughs> no, it's still not. What is it's it? Feeling Myself featuring Beyonce by Nicki Minaj. Oh, can you play more of it? I don't know if I know it. Yo, B. Oh. They Wait, ready. this is old. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't say they had to be new. Oh, oh uh, I just figured that that's a well known yeah. song. Or so I thought. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm so scared. Like, let, me now get my, let me get my playlist. Okay, well, you're. Much better than I am. Oh, this is hard. I see what you're saying. Oh, um, that's what makes you beautiful. One yeah, Direction. Really good job. Period. <laughs> All right, here we go. Dude. Oh shit! Hold on. 
don't listen. La. Okay. Did you hear that? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You're like Is it Adele? Yes. <gasps> oh my yes, god. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I just heard a piano, so I was like, it must be. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Um Hello. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's it! And that's literally it. I love this game so much. Yes, oh my god. I literally love this game so much. Oh no, I'm sweating. Okay. My turn. I'm like shaking even more now. Oh, best of both worlds, Hannah Montana. Really good oh, job. Oh, you picked really good ones. Yeah, and they were going to get harder. Oh, good. Maybe we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. <gasps> oh. Uh -huh. Ariana Grande. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seven rings? Yep. Okay, here we go. We're warming up. Oh, my God. I did it. I can't believe I got two. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, Avril Lavigne. Yes. Danny, Danny. <laughs> he was a bo skater boy. Yeah. Oh my god, the it's crazy. Like this is why I love this game. It's like it's like really telling of how your brain works. One hundred percent. And it's sometimes frightening. <laughs> um. Okay. 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 Now, ladies. Yeah. Oh, Kesha. Oh, is it not no, blow? No. It sounds like this place oh, is about to that's, blow. That's super fucking. You're valid. That sounds just like that. You're valid. It's not that, though. Thank you for validating I'll give you a me. second. I'll play it Get again. It. Oh, womanizer, womanizer. <laughs> so close. So close. I don't know. Like when you're on a playground and you want to fight, you say, do you want to fight? No, want to go punch me piece of me oh you want a piece of me you want a piece of me oh god by britney spears but well that's i knew okay. it was britney yeah you kill yeah you got it i was never like a big britney girl i, think I like I really was listened. and then i wasn't and then yeah. i was and then i like just was like okay i hope she's okay i hope she people are like saying she's dead <gasps> and that, that's like a deep fake Did on the internet you see that thing with her teeth yeah but like Okay, here's my was, gag. I was really late at night on TikTok. Here's I was like, my like take on the whole thing. People are slowing down the most pixelated videos, and they're like, "See that that right there?" And I'm like, "Yeah, that's called distortion from this video being <laughs> downloaded and uploaded nine times." Yeah. like I'm all on free Britney, like all for yeah. it. But like, I can't guys, keep up. Let's be fucking for real on yeah. some of these. Like, come on. Oh, uh, does, does no one have a job? <laughs> I just don't know how you have the time to investigate. I want so that. Thoroughly. I want to. Like, I would love to do that. Like, they. It feels like so much purpose. You're right. <laughs> I go down a spiral over the Britney Spears TikTok conspiracies. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. <gasps> I ain't sorry, Beyonce. Yeah. Is that the song name? Uh -huh. I don't know why sorry. it doesn't sound. Oh, sorry. That's why it doesn't sorry. sound right. Sorry. Sorry. So Sorry. Sorry for spending $1,700 on your tickets, bae. I'm not that sorry. <laughs> I, like, want you to f***ing piss and shit on me, B. Wait, is um Blue Ivy performing at all of them? If she's not, I'm demanding yeah. a refund. I'm going to yeah, say, fair. Ticketmaster, you've done enough damage. I either sue you for emotional damage or give me at least, like, $500 a ticket back. That's fair. Right? That yeah. seems respectful. I came here to see Beyonce and Blue. <laughs> um, All right. Oh, Dancing Queen. Yeah, I the second I played that, I was like, that's gotta be so fing ingrained in your brain. God damn yeah. it. I like didn't even think about that. Ugh! Okay. I heard <laughs> that you're someone like you. Uh someone like you, yeah. Adele. It's funny because I literally made a whole playlist and it's like, oh, what's on no, your plate? Currently play no, Which my is currently very listening funny. is just all old shit. I'm like, I like nothing new right now. Um, oh, I want to do some that, okay, this one I wanted to do, but the intro is like such a buildup <laughs> that, okay. Um, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do it again? That laugh was so insane of me. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. Oh, Harry satellite. Period. I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it really is like, Some, it's so funny because yeah. in my car, I hear those and I'm like, saddle. No, and, I almost put a Harry song, but that's why I did One Direction because I feel like so many of his songs are like so much oh, music in the beginning. Oh, I didn't even, I was going to play ribs, but then I was like, that's no, like a, uh, that's like a 10 minute build up. It's literally on here. <laughs> I love it. I also just saw one uh, of them. I just know you so well. Uh, well, okay. Which one? Super basic. Oh, okay, perfect. I figured that one would be easy. Yeah, anyway. that would I would have gotten in a but second. I, was like, I gotta put in a key. I know you hit me <laughs> without an America bone. It's not firework. Uh, Teenage Dream, Katy yeah. Perry. Oh my god! This is like it's one of my favorite songs of all time. Uh, Katy Perry, make Katy Perry great again. Uh, like. F- her Vegas show? I've lost. No, I want you so. It's unbelievable. Bad. I want. Is it still going? <laughs> I if I miss so. this, I'll I lose know. my mind. Oh my god! I, I need to see like that her, and Adele. Her thing now. Think is that, like Vegas residency. That's perfect for yeah. her. Like I'm not saying that like her new stuff isn't. I, I just didn't vibe with it. Her early stuff. Yeah, you should take an oh edible and go. Oh, f- one. I'm gonna take like the pack. Yeah, eat. <laughs> oh <laughs> eat my, the whole pack. Oh my god! Wow, I almost just played a remix for you, which would have oh. been just so rude. I get it. Um. It's one of the Taylor Swift remixes. Sorry, I was talking. You can do it again. <laughs> Even though I, I still won't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I feel like I know it. You definitely do. Is it an old song? It's not new, but it's not like Frank Sinatra old. <laughs> you know, like, if we couldn't hey, tell everyone, by the production. we're here in the studio today. <laughs> Frank Sinatra's like, I'm going to drop a beat today. <laughs> we're going to rap. Oh and God, everyone's like, no. What is that? I feel like I know it. Oh, it's going to piss me off. I know it. I want to sing this. I want to scream sing this song. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Can oh. you play like a little more? Okay, I don't know. 212 by Azalea Banks. Yeah, I no. was in the 212 on the Uptown. You know what's up or don't you? <laughs> or or don't you? I don't. <laughs> she don't. It's true I don't. Okay. I had to put this in. Fearless. <laughs> oh my god, Re- hearing that song at her show. I know. D- did something to me that like altered life changing. Like I listen, people <sighs> I'm about to go on my like 900th rant of the day. <laughs> we really do have to wrap this episode do up. Do you it's do like a nine. rant count? No, but like we really should take a hit every time I rant. Yeah. People. Okay. So I, <laughs> I started hating Taylor Swift because she put out Fearless on the same day that Hillary Duff came out with Best Of. And I was so pissed because Fearless obviously went to number one and Best Of, I don't think charted. Yeah. Which is fucking fair. Um, <laughs> and then I was like, wait, Taylor Swift is lit. And then I was like literally obsessed with her. I tried to win a meet and greet and I dressed my car up no, as Taylor Swift. No bridges fell that you were able to finagle your way into the meet and greet. No bridges fell. Like this was through a radio station and voting. So I was like so annoying. I was that kid on Facebook. Like everyone, it's your daily reminder to vote for me. Like <laughs> growing up. No oh, wonder I, I like was f-ing bullied. <laughs> like I'd, <laughs> I'd do it too. Um and then I like went through this phase where I just feel like I outgr- was like outgrowing her and it yeah. felt very like petty and childish. And I just, I was over it and I was like critical of her. And I just, I always liked her music. I just didn't vibe with her as a person. Yeah. And then, you know, I came back around and it's just, I have that nostalgia. Yeah, now aspect. you're petty. And now everybody and- is like, I thought you hated her. I thought you were pretty critical. And I'm like, can you not? You're allowed Be multidimensional. To- yeah. One of I my- hate that about the internet is that you are like only this one opinion you've said. And if you say con- contradicting things, you're a hypocrite. I, it, like, oh, people it can change their mind. Me nuts. My, it- one of my best friends, she was this, she never liked Taylor Swift. She, in fact, hated, hated. Taylor Swift. And then literally like three, four months ago, she was like, wait. I'm kind of vibing with this new album. And now she's like fully seeing her way through. And, but she consumes things in a way where like she learns it. She remembers it forever. Whoa. And so like, she already knows like all the words, all these songs. And you know, as someone who's put in like 15 years of blood, sweat and tears, I'm like, okay, no, 
You are not one of us yet. <laughs> you're not allowed to feel how I feel yet. Yeah, like, and that, but you're on your way. Like hearing Fearless Live, I was like, oh my god, yeah. and I was like with like my like one of my soulmate best friends, and like, I it, it just was, was one of those moments where I was like, holy shit, she's that just was in like a little it gold felt dress. like a, felt like a little healing moment. I was yeah. like, oh, you did it. I it just was beautiful. You did it. Anyways, that's the game. I don't think we need to play anymore. We don't. It, this episode's been going on for like did, five hours. I did do this one, though. I want to know Ooh, if you know okay. it. okay. Oh, 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 Why not? Why not? Why not? Hillary Duff. I mean, yeah. I, I know exactly how the music video Full goes. Circle. No, I like, <laughs> no, I wrote the book on that one, doll. I created the treatment for why not at age seven. Yeah. Uh, why not? Why not? Take a crazy chance. Um, should we do another voicemail or should we just end on this why not note? Let's end Let's, on the why not note. Okay. Did you want to do a voicemail? I did. Let's do a voicemail. <laughs> You're the guest of honor and just the guest. Just so. one more. Hi, Chris. Um, I was 14 when this happened. Oh, I'm no. 19 now, so like roughly like five years ago. Um, I am a very big fan of Five Seconds of Summer, so mm. I went to one of their concerts and I was in the pit. <laughs> and... I Five have songs. relatively long hair, <laughs> and when I, you know, like, just vibe into the music, dancing, jumping, and shit, um, I guess I was, like, flicking my hair back and forth, okay, and well, I no. didn't realize that I kept hitting this girl in the back, like, behind me, and, you know, the normal thing would be to, you know, pat my shoulder, tell me, oh, hey, you're hair. hitting me with your hair, yeah. you know. She yanked it. Calm down. <laughs> no, I was say cut it. this girl this woman because she was a mother (gasps) she was there with her kid and i was 14 this mother proceeded to yank my hair back crazy and pull my hair and tell me stop whipping your (gasps) hair in my face before i chop it off i turned over (laughs) i turned around and i was like I'm 14. <laughs> like, first of all, you're assaulting a minor. Yeah, but yeah, that part. No, you're right. Gave one last flick, <laughs> and she didn't do anything. So I just kept vibing for the rest of the night. Good. But I think by far that has been one of the craziest experiences that I've had at a concert. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah, Bye. that was the time I got assaulted by a mom. That's crazy. Uh, to be fair, like. If it were me and I was the woman and the girl was whipping me, I would let her whip me the whole time. And if even if she yeah, turned around and she was like, oh, sorry, am I bothering you? Like, no, no, no. Your hair's beautiful. I love it. Yeah, I would have just <laughs> silently been angry and be like, oh, my God. But I would never I wouldn't even tap her on the shoulder, let alone yank her hair. Also, if you're in the pit, that get that out of there, is lady. What I was just about to fucking say if you can't if take you- the heat, get out of the pit. <laughs> Also the kitchen. I didn't know where that was going, but I loved it. (laughs) But that's what I was going to say is like, don't go to a concert if you don't like body contact with people you don't know. Crazy. Also, five seconds of summer. Why does that sound so familiar? They sing, she looks so perfect standing there in my American apparel underwear. Why does this just only feel like like way younger than me? I feel like this is like offensive that you don't know this. (laughs) Uh, for the culture. They like open for One Direction. That sounds familiar. Yeah, they were very like that period of time. Was there a Callum? Yes. The Why is that in my brain? They would come to emo night all the time. Stop. <laughs> like, just I remember to... the time Demi Lovato came. Oh, she, yeah, she's come multiple times. That's crazy. You haven't been to the new venue. It's huge. In LA? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's um at like a proper nightclub and she performed with Royal and the Serpent who she brought on tour with her. Oh my and God. Royal is like such a part of like the Emo Night family. She's so great. And Demi came and they like did a song together and it was wild. All I remember is that I was standing next to Machine Gun Kelly and Young Thug <laughs> while they were rolling a blunt. Yeah. And then I told the photographer, take a picture of us. <laughs> and there and is did, one. And there is. It's, I, it's somewhere. I don't know where. Yeah, and you can see the like, you blunt. You can see the fat blunt. And Young I just Thug's remember hand. wanting so. And then Young Thug asked me what song, asked me what song oh, was yeah, playing. Oh, yeah. It was Blink-182. It was Blink-182. And Googled I was like. It. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's called All the Small Things. <laughs> and it's not. And that, I was like, I froze so hard because. Here is little white me yeah. in like a little checker hat. I'm like, middle kid. And he's like, yo, what song is this? And I was like, 
uh, <laughs> all the small things. And so then he starts to Google it next to me. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my God, that's not the fucking name of the song. I know that. And he's it like, is. Oh, wait. What? Oh, is I, it? You must have. I said something else. Yeah. And like then a, I got to the whatever. Anyways, this is why I don't tell stories over it because I literally, what? Butcher them. You Anyways, were right. It is all the small things. It, <laughs> All the small things <laughs> that you don't need. Um, anyways, thank you so much, Aaron, for coming on thank here. Thank you for having me. Be sure to listen to Good Influences podcast and the Carly yep. and Aaron Only Friends podcast. Really good job. Thank you. And subscribe where else? to my only. I was just. <laughs> do you still have it? Yeah. Ah, do you like still post? Oh my god, every day. I love that. I, that's what I've been doing in New I York. Remember, my I, whole camera row right now is role is just nudes. Wait, really? Yeah. You put nudes on OnlyFans? Yeah. Oh my god, I had no idea. I thought it was just what like What did you think? Pics. I was like doing Cat's Cradle? Well- <laughs> <laughs> that was the reference of a lifetime and I almost just passed out from laughing so hard because I am once again so hungry. Yeah, like, what are people doing over well, there? Well, I just, I mean, yeah. like, I thought you were just like posting like bra and undie pics. Uh, well, yeah, but then I take it off. And I'm like, look at my tits. Suddenly I'm about to subscribe. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're like, and I'll just that's, today's my free. last day. <laughs> <laughs> and anyways, it's gone. So thank you. Um, no, but for real, go look up. What do you like? Still go by Aaron Gilfoy on the internet. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. I just <laughs> was like, am I stupid? <laughs> yeah. My government name. G- oof, it's so heavy. I know. Thank God I got out of that. I need, like, a, just I need it next. My new government name. That is interesting. It is a new government name. Anyways, they own us. <laughs> they do, and it sucks. I want to be emancipated. <laughs> okay, let's go get. Anyways, yeah, I need food. So, bye, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> go follow Aaron. Go subscribe to Uninjured with Chris Clemens. Rate and review. Thank you, uh, Jake and Sam. I couldn't tell if Justin was also there. My eyesight is quickly diminishing. <laughs> and wow, we really put unhinged in unhinged with Chris Clemens today. So that was a long text. Le- I know. I was like, F- what am I in for? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, bye. Bye. bye.